Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. Today we are about to unbox, check out, and learn all about the brand new TBS Fusion. Who's ready? Okay, let's go ahead and check this thing out. We're going to unbox it. I'm also going to show you guys some footage because I went ahead and took this thing for a spin. And I want you guys to see, you know, how the video looks. It does come with an SMA90. You're going to need it most likely because one of your antennas is going to face up. You're also going to get your power mod board. And I want to go ahead and talk to you about this for a second. So we're going to jump over to another video real quick. It's actually a very important subject, and the reason why is, is this module pulls quite a bit of power. It's going to need 5 volts. Depending which goggles you have, it's not going to be able to do the 5 volts because it's only regulated to do what I believe is 3.7 volts. So in order to make this work, you're going to have to give your, your module, your new TBS Fusion module, you're going to have to give it more power. And there is more ways to do that than one. Option one is you can use this little kit that it came with. It came with the ribbon cables and it came with the little PCB board that you'll need. You can use that by sticking the blue tabs facing you inside of this little port right here. Once you get it in the port, you got to make sure that you have this black tab right here. You're going to want that facing upwards. Then what you'll do is you'll slide it in and then you'll fold the black tab back down flat. Once you have done that, you'll be good to go and you'll also connect it on the other end. You'll connect these wires the exact same way. You'll take the ribbon cable and on this end of the goggles, you will do the exact same thing. And what you'll do is you'll put the PCB board inside of the goggles. It's a pin connection. You'll connect it and then you'll put the top back in. You have the option with the ribbon cable to run it. You can run it along the outside on the front. You can even put one of these vinyl wraps over it. Or you can run the actual power mod wire ribbon cable. You can open up the goggles and run it on the inside. That's also an option if you want to hide it. Just know that you'll void your warranty. And also know that you got to be careful or else you'll pinch that wire on the inside when you're putting the goggles back together. This is definitely the easier way to do it. There's less trouble, there's less risk, and it's just going to be a little bit more temporary. Okay, so there is another option, and that option is what's called the L1, L10 mod. And fortunately, this video right here on your screen is a video that I've done on the mod where I walk you through it step by step by step. So if you're wanting to go ahead and just modify the goggles once and for all, if this is what you're looking to do, you don't have to deal with any ribbon cables, you don't have to hide them, you don't have to worry about pinching them, you just do the mod and you're done, then this video right here will be down in the video description. TBS Fusion Module, the image process was developed by Brain FPV. The OSD and the user interface was developed by Achilles and the hardware is being engineered by TBS themselves. It's actually really cool to see all these big companies get together. They're both really pushing technology and they've all come together on this project. And if you think about the name Fusion, they actually gave it that name because instead of your traditional diversity, it's literally taking both antennas taking both of the videos it's picking up and it's fusing them together to give you the best possible video that you're going to get or maybe they gave it that name because all these companies have fused together you'll be able to see that the video quality is really good i don't want you to take in fact the fact because when you're recording with a dvr you do get more breakup than what you're actually seeing in the goggles so keep that in mind when you're watching they really are pushing the bar with this. And what's really cool is, yes, we want a module that's all about video. We, you know, that's what this is about. We buy this expensive module, we put it in our goggles, and all we're looking for is the best possible video. But when you're dealing with Team Black Sheep and you're dealing with 
crossfire there's an entire ecosystem here and that's why as much as i enjoyed my rapid fire i just had to have this module because rapid fire is never going to be able to offer me the things that this fusion will this thing is going to talk directly to my receiver directly to the transmitter inside of my radio i mean it's going to be this full networking family of components just working together seamlessly to give me the best flying experience i mean why would i not want this it is right now in the alpha stages so you're not going to get to see what it really can do with the video that I've already ran and what I've gotten to see from this module thus far, I mean, the video is really, really good. There is a video from today that I flew. I was very far and I had trees in the way. I had houses in the way and my video was really good. I was not getting, you know, I, I was getting breakup, but I wasn't getting nothing unacceptable. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the menu and what it's like moving through this. One thing that I do want to touch on is when I put the module inside of my goggles, I was having trouble where the case was kind of not fitting centered. And what was happening was is my button would not be able to move to the right. It could go to the left. And if I took the case off, it would go to the right but with the case on it just wouldn't go to the right because the case was in the way this is an easy fix i can easily just bore out the hole a little bit although i really shouldn't have to but maybe i did something wrong who knows i know that they are offering this in clear as far as being able to buy a different cover you can buy it in clear as well okay so here in the menus there is an option under crossfire where when you click on it it actually takes you through a calibration where you will set your unify to a certain channel and then it's going to do its little calibration deal uh, as far as the module the manual isn't even out yet so to know exactly what's going on I really don't know step one is to turn the VTX all the way off enter to continue and left to exit so I hit enter it's calibrating after it's done calibrating, it's going to say, turn your VTX on, set it to this specific channel, make sure you remove the antenna, and then press enter to continue. Okay, so the module asked me to go into my VTX, change my band over to the Fat Shark band, and then change my channel to channel 4. So I went ahead and did that using the Lua scripts on my Tyrannus remote. I went ahead, pressed save, and then I went ahead and pressed enter, and then I could clearly see that it was calibrating, and then it told me that I had finished successfully. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I know that it was freaking cool. Jumping into the menu and scrolling through the different options, I want you to know that everything you see right here on the module, it is displaying it for you right inside of the OSD. And what that means is with the goggles on your face, you can do everything that I'm doing right now. You can turn your sounds on. You've got OSD types, which at this moment really isn't doing much. You've got Quad Finder where you click it and it looks for the quad for you. It also has a very cool setting called Multi-Lock where if you're out at a race or something like that, you go ahead and click on Multi-Lock in the settings and it will scan through and find all of the different quads that are out and pumping out power and then it'll kind of set them up for you on a little favorites thing where you can scroll through the different ones so if you're at a race and there's multiple guys flying you can literally lock on to their channels without individually setting up each and every one and then of course like every module these days you've got a band scan you've also got auto lock where when you press that it will search for the strongest signal and then lock in on it so you can watch that I'm going to go ahead and say it's pretty similar to the band scan. At this point, I don't know that it really serves a purpose. A big question that might be asked is, what is Matrix? I mean, it sounds crazy, right? What What is Matrix? But really, I believe that Matrix is just the regular menu where you can just manually scroll through all the different bands and channels and find the one that you're looking for manually. In the top left corner, you'll see two bars, and those bars are telling you 
how good your signal is on both of the different antennas. I think this is a very cool feature to have because as you're flying away, you can keep an eye to say, hey, this is becoming, you know, uncharted waters. I better head back because I can see the bar dropping. Even if you are having good video because you don't want to get out too far and then just have a blackout. So it's kind of cool to be able to monitor that and kind of know where your video is at and how strong is it. The version of the module is going to continue to change as they continue to update it. So you are going to need the Agent X. It's the TBS Agent X and it is different than the TBS Agent. You can get it directly from their website. I'm going to go ahead and go in here to this product and down in the product description is a link to where you can download it. I'm going to show you guys how to download it real quick so if you don't have it, you know where to get it. My module shipped with an older firmware. No big deal. I'm going to show you guys how to update it so you can stay current as this new technology continues to go and go and go. Go ahead and download it. Once the download finishes, you'll need to unzip it and install the program. I would recommend to go ahead and create a folder for it and just hang on to it because as new firmware comes, and I would keep checking back regularly, but as it keeps coming out, you're going to want to just keep on updating it. Choose the folder that you've created to go ahead and store it in during the download process so that way when it's time to use it, you'll know where to find it. Once you have the program, go ahead and open it. Let it go ahead and load for the first time. Now that you've loaded it up, keep in mind you've got to create an account. And if you don't have one, go on to the Team Black Sheep website. I'll put the link down in the description and you can go ahead and create your, your own account. Once you log in, you're going to have your own agent ID, you're going to have all your own credentials, and then the very first thing I'm going to do is release the beta firmware, so that way if there is a beta firmware available, I can go ahead and try it. But use caution with that because beta sometimes means that it's not always figured out and there might be some bugs. Go ahead and connect your device once you have the program open and it's asking you to. Your TBS Cloud will pop up, but we're looking for the Fusion module, so go ahead and click on Manage. Once you've clicked Manage, you will then enter to where you'll have the option to configure it, which is everything you can do inside the module, and then you'll have the option to click on Firmware. Once you click on Firmware, you're going to get to see what version you're on. I am running 0.21. That is what came on the module. There has clearly been two updates since then, and I mean the thing just came out. So that shows you how quickly they're moving. Go ahead and click to update it. Let it sit and go through its process. Do not interrupt it during this time. Once it's gone through the entire process of updating, give it time to reboot. It will disconnect and then reconnect. And you'll see here that your firmware is now updated. After I did my update, I popped back in the module, back into the goggles, and I started scrolling through the settings. And then I realized that I had a few more menus than I had the first time. I've got the Fusion menu, which I didn't have before. You have the option to have it on or have it off. When you have it off, they are calling it old school. Another thing that is new that we didn't have before is Wi-Fi. So I went ahead and turned Wi-Fi on, but I'm not sure where they stand right now as far as the Wi-Fi goes. But it's cool to know that it's on the way if it's not already here. Alright pilots, that's going to do it for my video on the brand new Fusion by TBS. I think this is really awesome. I'm excited to see what they've got in store for us. Right now, this was just a beginning video to get out and show you guys exactly what it looks like, what's it doing, should you buy it. So next up, I'll be doing range tests and then we'll see how good it does over, you know, over time. I'll keep you guys updated as the updates come out and the new firmware releases. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.